constant you know the boom boom and it keeps going it keeps the body vitalized and being able to function and move and so too the Beit Midrash on the Mizrahi campus it with people constantly learning there it keeps the whole campus alive and functioning. At the moment usually on Thursday nights I learn with my Madjuch Ellie Parks and some friends we're doing a book called Not in Heaven by Eliezer Berkowitz and it's about applying halakha to everyday life. The Beit Midrash is the heartbeat of the Jewish community. It offers a wide range of activities. For me, coming back from Israel, to be able to have some chavrut I'd have learned with a Hezda boy, also coming back and learning with a, a year 10, um, just been great for me, for my development. Um, firstly to learn from a Hezda boy, but also then to give what I know so far to younger kids coming through. I think that's what the Beit Midrash provides. Um, it's you know, you're not just, it's both ways. You work, you, you're learning more and you can give and provide to other people. I think it's, um, it's just a wonderful melting pot of different people from all different levels of learning and anyone's able to come and learn. It also offers amazing activities beyond the uh, Chavruta. We have chilling Shulan on a Thursday night. Maybe about 20 people talk about the parasha, have some Shulan, really sing, get into the spirit of Shabbos on a Thursday night. And we also have Holy Bagel on a Sunday morning. We have Brothers in the Base. We're part of the Limud program with B'nai Akiva with, uh, to learn with our Chanechim and um, to be in the Bay Midrash. Um, when I come into the Beit Midrash, um, it's always an open thing, never know what's going to be. And by the time I come out, um, I come out with a feeling of warmth, with a warm feeling in my heart. I have a very particular um, connection with the Beit Midrash in that my parents were very good friends with Mr Gottlieb who took his Yiddishkeit and his um, connection to the world with a lot of warmth, with a lot of um, a meaning, with a lot of um, feeling. Well I have a regular shiur with uh, Rav Dudi and uh, we learn every Thursday night Ivrit, and uh, this enables us to maintain our um, use of the Hebrew language, so it's very, very positive. We have wonderful ideas. Rav Dudi gives a spectacular shiur, which there's never a time where I don't come back with something to repeat and to tell my family. I, I get very excited and really look forward when there are special events um, or special um, uh, subjects, such as the series before the different Hagim. So the Hezde Boys at Yavna are brilliant, it's, it's amazing fun. Every, every time we have a session with them, it's just so enjoyable. We, we play games and, and we learn interesting things about the topic that we go through. And then at the end, we all break up into groups and we all learn a message and we, and we have quotations from other rabbis and other Jewish books and, and it's a great experience. By having the Beit Midrash as the heart of this community, it enables us to really connect with the Jewish world at the same time as connect with the world that we live in. And for me as a university student and someone who works part-time and someone who has been involved in B'nai Akiva, I think the Beit Midrash is the pinnacle of what's able to connect all these areas. Because when I come here, I'm able to learn about things uh, that, are able, that enable me to be able to apply the Jewish world into the modern world that we live in. And without this kind of knowledge that I have from my several chavrutot, um, I feel like I would kind of be lost and I feel like I would be out of place 
and not be able to wear my kippah with pride. But by coming here, I feel like I'm strengthened and I feel like I can really, really be proud to be a Jewish person and represent this community. Especially for me, I love it that it's a place where girls can come and it's really special. It's the only place in the world almost that girls can come to a place of Tara and learn with just as many Sfarim and I can come with my friends and with my Chanichim and it's a really great place and it's such a great environment and I really love the baby drash. I like learning in the Beit Midrash because the atmosphere is very relaxed and it is a lovely environment which um, supports the hashkafa of our lives and of the, of the school and, and what, we, what we have in short. We all? Um, yeah, as my father said, we all know it's good to learn but it's, it's a relaxed and we have fun and it's a good environment and a good atmosphere um, while we're learning. It encourages younger school kids like us, we wouldn't be so, um, so, so, so drawn into another place. It's more relaxed and more, we, we, we'd come in more often. When I learned Torah, my heart beat so much because it's so exciting to learn new things and I really, really like learning new things. From the Torah. When, when I learn the Gemara, my heart beats beats all the time. It's so nice. And... So the way I view the Bet Midrash is that no matter what place you are in life, whether it be at school, um, during university or studies, um, or later on at work, the Bet Midrash is really the heart and the core that brings you back to what's important to you and what grounds you. Often we get really caught up in um, BCE exams or uni assignments or crazy work schedules um, and the Beit Midrash is an opportunity to come to a place, a really warm and inviting place um, that really remind us, reminds us about what our values are and what's important but more so an opportunity I guess to grow. So again the Beit Midrash is an amazing facility that I guess brings people together whether you've known each other since kindergarten or you've met um, the Heads of Boys or Sherrod Girls later in life. A heartbeat. A heartbeat is the regular sound of life. It is kavua. It has a cadence, it has a rhythm, it has music to it and when you hear it you hear life itself. So is with our Bet Midrash. There is a sound that we hear from it through its doors, through its windows. There is a constant hum, a constant noise, a beautiful sound of Torah being learned of sweetness, and that is life itself. So as a heart beats with continuity to, su to sustain life, to maintain life, so is the essence of our Bet Midrash here in Melbourne in sustaining the spiritual existence of our community. Shimon Shabbat Kodesh